Hi, this is Kavita Suresh Kumar and in this video I am going to demonstrate how to create and delete a GKE cluster in GCP using gcloud command line interface. I have already installed gcloud in my system. Let's validate that. So I have the Google Cloud SDK 431.0.0 version installed. Here you can see a plugin GKE gcloud auth plugin. This is required to access the Google Kubernetes engine but this it doesn't get installed by default with gcloud you can use the gcloud components install command to install this plugin first we need to do the authentication so we are going to authenticate using this ID click allow so we have now successfully authenticated you can see here you are now logged in as this user and this is the current project. Now let us go and create the GKE cluster. gcloud container clusters create and I'm going to call it as a demo cluster. Then I'm going to specify the machine type for my nodes to see to micro. Then I'm going to specify the zone in which this cluster will be hosted. Then I'm going to specify the number of nodes. So we are going to create a simple two node cluster. The cluster is getting created. So the cluster demo cluster has been successfully created. Let's validate that. We have validated that. So now let us deploy a simple Nginx container in this cluster. For that we need to create the deployment YAML and the service YAML files. I am going to just call it as a deployment.yaml file. Here we will add the definition. The API version it is going to be apps v1 and the kind is going to be deployment. Now we need to provide the metadata so we need to give the name I'm just going to call it as an nginx then we need to specify the labels this will be used by the service to identify the app and let's give the spec so we are going to run three replicas selector match labels go to nginx then we are going to add the template metadata labels nginx then we are going to give the spec we need to give the containers information so name we are going to again give it as nginx the image will give it as nginx latest okay let's save this first let's create the deployment So the deployment has been successfully created. Let's validate that. Okay, so we have given three replicas. So one is successfully running, the remaining two are still in the creating. So all the three pods are successfully up and running. Now let us create the service YAML so that we will be able to access this Nginx pod. service need to give the metadata again the name so we'll just again it call it as nginx 
then we need to give this back so we are going to give the selector app nginx then we are going to specify the ports we need to specify the protocol tcp the port 80 and the target port also will specify as 80 then we'll specify the type it's going to be load balancer because we would want to access from outside so i'm going to specify the type as the node balancer so we have two other options one is a node port the other one is a cluster ip cluster ip for internal communications node port is to communicate through a specific port on a node okay so let's create the service as well the service also has been successfully created now let us get the external IP from the service so this is the external IP load balance IP using which we will be able to access this engine export okay so we are able to successfully access the nginx running on the container using the load balancer Okay, so now let us go and delete the Kubernetes cluster which we created. Container clusters delete demo cluster and then specify the zone. Yes, it is deleting the demo cluster. So the cluster demo cluster has been successfully deleted let's validate that yeah we could see we don't have any gke cluster exist in this project in this demo we have seen how to create and delete gke cluster using gcloud command line interface also we have seen how to create a deployment and the service.yaml and deploy that in the kubernetes cluster if you like this video please like share and subscribe thanks for watching the demo